Hey everyone, it's Jason here and welcome to the Ultimate Modding Guide Part 2. In this tutorial I will be covering performance and bug fixes. It is important to have a stable mod list. Let's go ahead and open Mod Organizer. In the last episode I showed you how to set up SKSE and Root Builder. However, we have to add SKSE in the launcher options. Head over to the left pane and right click on SKSE, select Open in Explorer. Copy the address, we will use it soon. Now go to the right pane and select Edit from the Launcher Options. Click on the plus button then select Add from File. Now in the address bar, paste the address we copied earlier. Finally add SKSE to the Launch Options. You can name it anything you would like. When you are done, simply click Apply. We can now move on to the next section. Head back over to the left pane and make a separator titled Utilities. Then make a second separator named Performance and Fixes. You can name these anything you would like, but I chose those titles for ease of use. And now it's time to download Skyrim Engine Fixes. You can use the links I provided in the description. Please make sure you choose the correct version for your Skyrim. There are two parts to this mod. Part 1 can be installed via Mod Manager, and Part 2 will utilize the Root Builder plugin. Download Part 1 and 2 and follow with me on screen. Also don't worry, if Part 2 does not show in the right pane, just ensure that you place the mod into the Downloads folder of MO2. Once you are done installing engine fixes, please go ahead and download all the mods shown on screen. Links will be in the description. You will see that I have separated the mods into two main categories. Utility mods will cover frameworks and other useful plugins that other mods may need in the future. Whilst the performance and fixes mods will focus on increasing FPS and stability, ensuring a bug-free mod list. Go ahead and install all the utility mods so that left pane on your MO2 reflects mine. Now we can move on to installing all the performance and bug fix mods. There are a lot to get through, but luckily they are all straightforward and easy. Skyrim Priority Mod has some additional steps if you want to gain the most out of your CPU, which I recommend watching the video by Gamer Poets, who explains it exceptionally well. I have placed a link in the description. We will come back to this mod at a later stage, but for now, you can install it as some other plugins will depend on it.
you may go ahead and activate all the mods on the left pane. Then if you have the Anniversary Edition with all of its content, you can follow along with me and install the CC content into a neat package. Once your CC content is done installing, go over to the right pane and select the Plugin tab. Click on the Sort button, which will allow MO2 to organize your plugins into a functional load order for us to build upon. Well done, that marks the end of Part 2. Definitely don't miss out on the next episode, as we will be using tools to increase performance as well as other great features. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and turn on bell notifications so that you do not miss out. And I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers, everyone.